big, powerful, sophisticated. Volkswagen's answer to the Japanese one-ton dual cab utes. This is the Amarok. The Trendline model features includes semi-auto air conditioning, power windows and mirrors, rear step bar, fog lights, cargo air air lighting and dedicated tie downs. Volkswagen also claims it can fit a pallet in the tray. You'd be forgiven for thinking the Amarok is just another muddy dual cab ute, but you wouldn't know it from the inside. It's simply better than any other ute out there. The Amarok's four-wheel drive systems are far more sophisticated than any other youth on the market. Electronic four-wheel drive engagement is not a new idea, but the Amarok's is instantaneous. It also has an off-road mode, which at a press of a button, deselects ABS, gives you better traction control, and also gives you hill descent control, all in one package. A really good idea for a youth. The ride is incredibly supple, for easy touring at least, because if you hit a big bump, it does move around a bit. This engine is a cracker. Normally I'd say there's no substitute for cubic inches, especially when towing. But the little 2 litre Amarok proves me wrong. Heaps of grunt, from low RPM right to the red line. The Amarok has plenty of go, 400 newton metres of torque and 120 kilowatts of power, plenty for towing a 1700 kilo van and it will tow up to 2800 kilos. As an excellent counterpoint to the Japanese utes, the Amarok provides heaps of towing capacity it's a good four-wheel drive and not a bad family car. It's certainly not the cheapest dual cab on the market, but it's certainly worth looking at. I'm Philip Lord for Caravan World.